Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So we are back at the pond again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out our last video. Basically, me and a couple of my buddies have been out here working on this pond for the last four or five days. We've got some sub-zero temperatures out here and we're trying to take advantage of the cold weather and still get outside and do something. One thing that we've noticed over the last four or five days of skating out here is no matter how much sweeping, shoveling, brooming we do on this pond, it's still a little bit rough. And in my book, anything worth doing is worth doing right. So I went out to the hardware store, bought a couple of PVC pipe fittings, and made myself my own homemade DIY Zamboni. Let me show you how I did it. So for starters, to make something like this, what you're gonna need is two 10-foot pieces of 3 quarter inch CPVC. And the CPVC is a little bit more flexible and a little bit more bendy than PVC, so that's why we went with that. And then after that, you're gonna need a couple of fittings to get you from the CPVC to a garden hose. So you're gonna need a CPVC to a threaded coupler. Then you're gonna need a double threaded male coupler that's then going to get you to your garden hose adapter up here. So you'll need three different connections to get you to a garden hose. And then after that, you're gonna need a T and then two 90 degree elbows. And then obviously you're gonna need some plumber's glue to put these all together and make the connections watertight. And then you're gonna need some plumber's tape up here for these connections there. Then I went out and bought a portable submersible utility pump. This ever built is one sixth horsepower and it's rated for 28 gallons per minute. Should be plenty to do this pond in a hurry. Now we have had some frigid temperature here over the last week. So this pond is about six inches thick. We'll get a good measurement on it once we cut it open, but it wouldn't be a hometown acres video if we didn't have a chainsaw in here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and cut a six inch by six inch square in the ice here so that we can get that submersible pump down in the water and start pumping out water for the Zamboni. Now, as far as cutting that six inch by six inch square in the ice, we've got a few things to consider. It needs to be out of the way where people aren't gonna hit it when they're skating. It's gotta be in a central enough location that we can do the whole pond with 150 foot of hose that we have here. And it needs to be far enough away from the edge that we're not getting muddy, dirty water and any vegetation that might be growing near the edges of the pond. One thing I forgot to mention is you are gonna wanna use something to weight down your hose so that your utility pump doesn't sink all the way to the bottom and start dredging up some sludge in your hose and in through your Zamboni.
so that was the first coat of many we're gonna put on this pond. And usually the first coat is just taking out some of the high spots, filling the low spots. It's not gonna be absolutely perfect, but it's gonna make it a lot better than it was. Now, when you're Zamboning, you wanna put real thin little coats on, and that way you can kind of layer the ice and really get a nice smooth finished surface. But it's about 15 degrees out right now, and by the time we finish the pond, where we had started is already frozen over. So let's go ahead and throw on the skates and see how much better it is than when we started. So you can hear the ice is still a little bit chattery, but for a first coat, this is pretty good. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bunch more coats to it. It's cold enough that we could actually do multiple coats in the same day. And really start to knock down some of these high spots and fill in the low spots. And I think with this tool, this DIY Zamboni, we can get pretty close to an indoor ice rink smooth finish. As long as we take the time to keep the snow off of it and keep Zamboniing it. But I think it's worth it. This is a fun project. So here's one more look at this DIY Zamboni. I forgot to mention a couple of things in how I constructed this. So that CPVC, while it is a little bit more flexible than PVC, still bending it in this shape would be difficult if you didn't use something to melt that plastic so that you can bend it. And what I used was a heat gun, but I think you could honestly get by with a hair dryer. You can see right there, I put the heat gun to it there, there, and there, and then there, there, and there, so that I could bend it. Now you wanna be really careful not to over melt that plastic or else it's gonna crimp on you and you're gonna lose the inner diameter of your pipe. Now the last thing I didn't mention on this Zamboni during the intro was the spacing of the holes that I put for the outflow of the water. I drilled a hole about every four inches going down and I, it wasn't exact, I just kinda eyeballed it, but it's good enough and it, it does a good job. And that 28 gallon per minute pump will actually shoot the water out of those holes and it's almost kinda like a sprinkler head. That pump is actually perfect for this. So my all-in cost on this DIY Zamboni was about $43, but baked into that cost, I had a $6 for the pipe cleaner and then $8 for the pipe cement. And most people, if you've ever done any plumbing work, probably just have that laying in the basement somewhere. Uh, but me, now that I have it, I, I barely used any out of those two containers, so I have two full things. So if you back that out of the cost, it was a little over $30 to make. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention is if you're coming out on the ice, make sure you test the ice first and always have a set of ice picks with you. These go right around your neck and they're retractable. So if you look at this, as you break through the ice, it's going to uh, pop out your spike there, dig into the ice, and you'll be able to climb your way out if you do fall through. I've got a link down below for these in my Amazon store. Go check that out. But anyway, I think that about wraps this one up. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and check out some other videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.